Back up singers, what is good? It's your boy Joey Sings y'all and today we is going into space with Mark Honey. I got the video pulled up and I'm excited to get into it and see what is going down y'all. Listen, I love me some Mark and I just started watching him honey. So let's get into space and see what's going on. Here we go. No more hiding, no more lying. This is me. This is me. Yeah. Alrighty, you guys. So we got the video pulled up, and let's get into space. It's a YouTube original. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. In space with Markiplier. Yes. Take me out up, friend. Oh, I'm excited. Invincible. I know that's right. I forgot I'm on Star Trek. This is Oh snap, okay. Oh, I'm the captain. Huge fan. Yo. Invincible Tower, this is Phil Marmota. Pushing docking bay four. Closing the blast shields. Shuffle Marmota, you're clear to dock. Copy you. Truth be told, we couldn't afford to show that anyway. But yeah, don't get me wrong. know exactly where we're at. Okay. First of all, so you trying to kill me? You trying, you better land this ship like you know how to land this ship and start playing, sir. Cause now we got a rocket. They feel like we don't know what we doing. We can hang out or something. Go get a cup of coffee. I'm done with you. Aboard the it's nice yeah. to meet you. you long enough, but let me give you the grand tour before we This is my pride and joy. My baby. Well, your baby, I guess now. But I made it. Uh-uh, I don't okay, want this. Oh. People dying. People is dying. Uh-uh, I don't want it. I don't want to be here. <laughs> Take me home. <laughs> Father. Welcome aboard, Captain and Head Engineer. Okay. First stop, the warp core. The heart and soul of the ship. Still not 100% sure how it works, but you don't need to know how something works in order to use it. Oh, I'm not getting in there. And when we found it again, it passed every safety test with flying colors. It's not going to be like last time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, last time, oh, no. Finally, going to live up to her name. Uh -uh, it's Just too much going on around us, sir. I built in a special precaution. Okay. Everything goes wrong. We can detonate these explosives and separate the warp core from the rest of the ship. Oh, okay, but I've yet to meet a problem that can't be solved with explosives. We just blowing. Okay, we blowing stuff up. The main reactor. Turns out you pretty much need the power of a star to tear open a wormhole. So a star I built, built like a tank too. <laughs> just, I don't want to be the captain of this. Is it too late to turn down the job? Is it too late to give it back? Like, I don't think you keep your ship, friend. You keep your ship. Captain? Bert. Hey, Bert. Yeah, it's Bert. He makes sure that the ship don't go boom. Next up is Bert. Okay, Bert. Hey. The colonists are prepped, stable, and ready for transport. Oh, oh, oh. This is working at 110% too, which is a little weird, but overkill never hurts. Trust me. You do not want to be awake when the warp core hits the gas. Cece. Asshat. Captain, all colonists are prepped and Thousand souls ready for a new life. 
Let's get them there safe. Oh, don't worry. Before they know it, they're going to wake up at the sight of a brand new planet with a fresh cup of coffee in their hands. Why don't you give them more windows to look through? Well, maybe I will. Ooh, appreciate drama. This. Besides, what could go wrong with a crew like this? First, ADS. a lot can go wrong because the crew look like they done been through a lot. Some of them is beat up. Some of them is dying. Some of them shouldn't even be on the ship. Okay, uh-uh, uh-uh. It's good to go. Don't worry, Cap. No asteroids getting by me. You can count on that. I know that's right. I know you see me. Look where you going. Get out the way. Uh-uh, you tried it. You tried it, friend. Good job. I know that's right. Seems fine. Everything is accounted for. Oh, 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 we bit the die. All that's left now. It's for you to say the word. Try not to get them too excited, Captain. I know how your speeches can get people riled up. Thank y'all for being here. Uh, so we is all um, we finna take off. Period. Let's go. Warp call engaged. One more opening in thirty seconds. All cars now report to your assigned crime pod. Oh, it's all right, Captain. I, I'm sure you'll make a great speech once we get there. Fuck! What about my drain? I need a drain. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's not a problem, of course. But just before you go to sleep, be absolutely sure. Do not. One more opening in ten. Would you like to restart to apply this update? No! Oh shit, I'm gone! Oh, I'm warping! Where the hell am I at? Don't give up! Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is en route. The current ship state is absolutely catastrophic. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh no, not Mark! Oh shit! Oh okay, um, oh lord, do we fix life support? Do we pop the fire, Jesus? Okay, we gonna put out the fire. Okay, let's pop the fire. But now I'm finna die, what about life some more? getting dark in here oh I think I'm gone I think I'm gone no no I'm gone Jesus I should have just let it all burn down am I gonna wake up Oh shit, so we were supposed to save the oxygen. Oh. Oh, Mark. 
Yes, oh man. Oh, oh man, my. Oh, oh no, man, my. No. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Um, what's happening? Oh, shit. Mark, hold on. I got you, Mark. No. No. Okay, so. All right, okay. We got this. Still don't know what the hell is happening, but we seem to have this situation all under control. Do we? Yeah. Impact detected. Computer, activate the asteroid defense system. Analyzing. No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> oh, I did it, no. Problem. You did this yourself. Ah, ah, this is not like old times. I don't remember this. Let's fix it from. We're gonna wake the crew. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Gunther should be able to handle this. Yes, I can. Let's go, Gunther. I'm on your hands, Captain. Well, I've been through hundreds of battles, fought through hundreds of traps. A few rogue drones. Ain't gonna get the best of me. Oh, you about to die, friend. I'll do my best if you think I'm the right person for the job. Well, not my first choice, but the captain is the captain. So, Mrs. Whitaker, we need you to get oh, the no, asteroid. No. I'm not married anymore, young man. Careful, cookie. No, we don't want no cookies. We is about to die. Appreciate it. Miss Whitaker, we need you to get in the asteroid defense system and fix it. Well, when the captain tells you to do something, you best well get it done. Well, get it done, Miss Whitaker. Huh? There's no problem. A plate of cookies can't solve. That's a lie. Oh, Miss Whitaker. Miss Whitaker! We didn't kill Miss Whitaker! Oh, Miss Whitaker, I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. Warning, large object on collision course with ship. Brace for impact. Software update complete. Oh, shit. Oh my goodness. Jobs done? Jobs done, Captain. We did it. What did we do? Asteroid defense system online. Oh. Yay! Oh. <laughs> How did we get here? Warning. Could it be can cry out? Oh Lord! Oh, we gotta fix it from outside. Okay, here we go. We're going outside, Jesus. Oh, shit! 
Oh no, Captain, we going out. We going outside. So now I'm dead. Come on, we getting out of here. Why is we abusing him? Shit does. Tired of playing with you. Alert. Colonist core temperature stabilizing. What? What? Warning. Reactor overload imminent. No, the reactor's gonna go, cowboy. How many more things can go wrong on this ship? We gotta go. Let's move! Alright! We need to move! Alert! Main reactor will achieve capacity. Let's go! See, because I'm smart. We put no jackets and stuff. We already know what it is. We're almost there! Alert! They were coached this whole time? If you was using your noggin, that's why I'm the cap! Until catastrophic reactor meltdown, someone with extensive engineering expertise needs to enter this room. No, no, it's not fair. I don't what do we do? Captain, no, I, it's too much. I can't do it. My, my hands are numb. I wouldn't be able to fix it even if I knew what the problem was, which I don't. I don't think anyone. You going in there? You understand, don't you, Captain? You understand, don't you? I don't understand. You gotta go in, friend. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mark. Oh, Mark, I'm sorry. Reactor output stabilizing. I shouldn't have doubted you. Doug, I'm the captain, right? I didn't even feel the heat. And it thawed me out so evenly. I don't think I'm going to lose any limbs to frostbite. You really do know what you're doing, don't you? I'm lucky to have you as my captain. Duh. And the ship should be in good enough shape that we can finally take a breath, look around, and figure out what the hell is actually happening here. I think we're going to be... I think we're going to be okay. Computer, what's the status of the warp core? <laughs> warp core cannot be reached. Clarify. Warp core cannot be reached. Oh, no. Can you at least tell us if it's going to blow up? No. No, it's not going to blow up? No. Then what are you, you stupid <laughs> robot? <laughs> oh, here right, we go. Let's see what the deal is. Maybe we can figure out where we are. Computer, wake up crew leads and get them running diagnostics. Waking crew. Okay, at least that still works. Why didn't you do that sooner, though? It would have been so much easier to fix all the systems on the ship if the crew leads had been awake. Don't talk to me like that. The ship seems stable for now. Don't know why I can't reach the warp core, but at least we can get to the bottom of this. I swear, if one more thing blows up on my ship, I'm going to lose it. Boom. Boom. Well, that's new. 
Um. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Come on. Let's go. Oh no! My god. We're stuck in a goddamn wormhole. All stress is redlining across all decks. It's holding We're in a wormhole! I'm sorry! I thought I was being a good captain. I did. What do you say? About time? Computer activate the event horizon protocol! Oh. Didn't it? I'm gonna kill you. Gunther said it was okay. Hey, we're gonna be drifting for a while without the warp core, but we're safe. Oh. I think the colonists are gonna be okay. I see you, Captain. With the event horizon protocol activated, we did it! It was free from the effects of the wormhole and sent to drift into the vast space in search of a new planet to colonize. Specifically, Mark is searching for it. Because you ordered him to, not because he's the best at it. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. His he's voice. He's definitely not the best. Not the best. The merit record clearly shows. Mm. He's just the one your mind drifts to when something needs doing. Perhaps because you consider him to be a friend. Yes. But probably not. Eventually, you do manage to find a planet, an action for which the crew thanks you dearly. Even if Mark was the one to make the discovery, yes! you were the one to order said discovery. So I'm you the captain. All the credit for ordering the discovery of the discovery. Period. Which you do. Once the colony is established, you find that despite his extensive list of demerits, you're always willing to give Mark a chance to prove himself by assigning him every task necessary to grow a thriving colony. Anytime a colonist needs their housing built, you pick Mark. Anytime a dangerous jungle needs to be explored, you pick Mark. Anytime an alien attack threatens your I'm sorry, Mark, but you the man for the job, Mark. I know you can get it done. Sure, the colony would probably go faster if you didn't require that every single project and task wait for Mark to arrive, but it's the price of getting things done right. Exactly. Or getting things done Almost. Nothing Almost. He's the head engineer, after all. This pattern of dutiful obedience carries on for many years until one night you are struck with another problem that only Mark can solve. As you lay in your luxurious captain's bed, you find that you just can't seem to get comfortable. You ring the summoning bell that's been genetically coded to Mark to alert him of your need, as is customary for any discomfort you experience. Ooh. You command him to bring you another pillow to ease your aching bones, weary from the arduous work in micromanagement. Only a few seconds behind schedule for which you give him the proper demerits, Mark arrives, pillow gripped tightly in both hands. You make the minimal effort required to gesture for his approach, and he does with a slightly more gleeful smile than usual. There's a certain twinkle in his eye that you haven't seen before, something that Mark, don't you, else Mark? Might be Mark, no. But Mark isn't the mischievous type. Mark, no. But unwarranted eye twinkling, you just can't abide. Mark? You pull up your tablet and scroll through the multitudes of demerits to find eye twinkling as Mark approaches with the pillow. His smile growing with every step. Mark about to kill me! Then to your complete lack of surprise, he somehow screws up the simple act of giving you a pillow. He put it on your head instead of under it. Surely there's a demerit for improper execution of locational prepositions. Captain. Oh. My. Goodness. What is going to do that, Dad? I don't want to go towards the light. Alrighty, you guys. So there you have it. Me going into space with Mop Baby. And I was not going into the light because I was scared. He done killed me. But listen, if you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up and then leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think about our trip in the space with Mark, honey. Is you here for it? If you're not a backup singer, go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as hit that bell to be notified when I upload brand new videos like this. And I will see y'all in the next one, honey. Deuces.